Good afternoon, and thank you for the opportunity to allow, you to, uh, to allow me to address you today. I really appreciate the opportunity. I've been a participant and observer in the business improvement area zoning type of work for some time now, uh, given my early work within a, what we call a business improvement area in the early 80s. Um, you're likely aware that in Canada and the U.S. there's hundreds if not thousands of BIAs, BIDs and development districts and these have been active in supporting smaller commercial neighborhood areas for decades. One resource for BRZs and BIAs and BIDs is the International Downtown Association and their site is definitely worth, worth a look if you'd like. Um, it actually hosts conferences and learning opportunities and it liaisons with multiple uh, suppliers on a global basis so they're an interesting group. What isn't obvious is the critical role that the BRZs play in the development of effective community and business building and its primary function of acting as a liaison to the municipality in which it resides. Every BRZ is, is really rather unique and today we'll look at two smaller BRZs, one being uh, Alberta Avenue, uh, hosted by Joachim Holtz who is here today. Thank you very much for coming, appreciate that. A more mature organization and with obvious successes under its belt. Our organization is more of a newcomer with several restarts. It's called the North Edge uh, Business, sorry, the North Edge Business Association, and it's been in operation since 2009. Now, at some point, I would say that I would hope that the North Edge Business Association would grow up to be an organization as successful as what Alberta Avenue is. Is, is right now today, but it is a process of, of organizational development and it takes time and we need to develop programs that support the unique initiatives that are required in our area. So that's what we're intending to do. We'll also talk, touch upon the benefits, the programmings and, and relationship to our partner, the City of Edmonton. As the Municipal Government Act provides for the inclusion of the BRZ within the legislative framework, I consider the provision to be a really astute observation and a means to support community development and, and which is one of the mandates of the municipality in which it resides. That foresight provides the allowance for the self-management of a micro level programming in smaller commercial areas through a volunteer board supported where resources allow through personnel. An effective BRZ facilitates the betterment of the area itself and it also provides a positive impact on the wider community through connecting people interested working working on a, a common goal. In the North Edge Business District, our purpose is to provide a stronger, more vital business environment. I've come to understand this year that this priority, along with others, is also a priority shared with the neighborhood and through the leagues. The level of autonomy provided through the BRZ directly and positively impacts the feeling of empowerment in the community. The level of business and neighborhood buy-in is directly proportional to the potential of our success. However, no BRZ can be successful alone and the level of partnership provided via the municipal level of government is invaluable. Municipal governments with their ever more complex regulatory environments and re reduced resources are continuously challenged to meet their mandates. Like the BRZ, municipalities, their departments and their successes are in <coughs> direct proportion to the quality of, of their relationships. So in that way we are very much the same. A BRZ is more than a collection of businesses within a geographic boundary. It's a collection of people striving to fulfill the vision of a creating a work, play, a live destination community uniquely situated within a larger community. For those that work in the city of Edmonton, that probably sounds so familiar. Look to your BRZs to have the first-hand knowledge of the day-to-day -day issues within its community. The BRZ will be the direct evidence of implementation of your policy within the community you're serving. Similarly, the lack of policy or action at the macro level directly impacts the micro level, sometimes in un unintended ways. The North Edge BRZ boundary stretches from 101 Street to 118th Street, between 105th Avenue to the mid block of 108th Avenue. University, uh, McEwen University is our southern boundary, and Nate Royal Alex Hospital, and literally hundreds of medical services, and a suburban mall, mall are no located to the north. Within our area, we have about 325 businesses. The light rail transit through, uh, travels through our area and it affords us new opportunities as does the building of the arena and residential uh, projects both approved and proposed. Our newly developed three-year operational plan outlines improvements to three traditional program areas, cleanliness, beautification and design improvements. 
and it also adds an additional economic programming plan. Like city departments, we use, <coughs> most of us use, develop similar tools, uh, operational plans and metrics and tracking to keep abreast of our progress. And in our case, we're in our development phase right now to prepare these tools. Giving credit where credit is due is effective policy examples with a positive impact for the North Edge BRZ state. Include things like the Neighborhood Revitalization Strategy, its committee, the personnel supports and supporting implementation funds. I really compliment Great Neighborhoods because their selection of, they have top-notch personnel in Queen Mary Park and Central uh, McDougall, which is, these are our neighborhoods. And in 2014, we will see the North Edge uh, make significant strides in each program area uh, through the funds that have been provided there. Without those funds, I don't think, we, or while we would have those programs, we wouldn't be able to expand and make those programs really as effective as they need to be in order to address the concerns of that area. Now in 2014 and 15, we'll participate in the developmental planning of the 109th uh, to 116th, 107th Avenue redevelopment process. So we're really looking uh, forward to that. This is a role that BRZs can play very well because they are the on the floor uh, participation with businesses to be able to provide you with that consultation that you seek so that you know exactly what people are feeling and thinking and the opportunities that come, can come forward. In fact, in uh, other programs that we have done, we were able to host a uh, Christmas urban marketplace in the Winds, uh, Prince of Wales Armories. This successful win-win combined a local business showcase opportunity with a traffic generation uh, opportunity, and it's helping to maximize this, the use of a historical landmark building under city management. So it's a win-win all around. We also work to connect and support the city enforcement and uh, police uh, services uh, supports in our district. <coughs> Strong presence and thoughtful use of resources there has been very, very beneficial. The BRZ unit has been very active with us in 2003 through coordination of access to municipal supports such as developmental services, landlord and tenant services, and support of our economic development efforts. Stuart, you're both timely and effective, and I thank you for that. You're very, um, we are very lucky to have you, so thank you for your efforts. Retention and recruitment are a priority for the in NEBA for 2014, and I welcome you. I welcome you into a great team of people who are going to be working on those issues. Significant work is being facilitated in our area through the facade improvement and the developmental incentive programs. These programs they provide a, a crucial resource to our business district as they complement the mandate of building a destination area and destination businesses within the North Edge. Additional resources might be considered in this area as each BRZ has its own unique needs and presently those programs, it would be better if they were offered in, in all areas of the city. One of the most crucial pieces of regulatory supports for the BRZs are the area plans. In the case of the North Edge, there's a tremendous interest in the redevelopment of multi-level residential with the inclusion of commercial main floor where feasible. We look forward to significant population growth in the areas south of 107th Avenue in support of our Columbia Avenue redevelopment. We are interested in direct engagement with the department early and often and prior to development application conversation to advance this common goal. I do leave you with a suggestion. Like many of the uh, strategies advanced in the MDP, BRZs need to be fostered and included as a partner as their function is directly facilitated via the municipality. Their connection needs to be present with each department directly, in particular operational departments. This alignment would improve BRZ operations in such areas such as transit, maintenance, enforcement, and development tremendously. Thank you.